Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and today I will show you how to replace your Galaxy S8 stock apps with the ones taken directly from the Note 8. Here are all the apps that can be currently replaced, displayed right on the screen. I'm saying currently because by the time you watch this video more of them can be added. Check the XDA thread in the description to get the latest update. Also make sure you throw an eye over the installation steps there because they may change in time. This video will be somehow related to an app conversion from the S8 ones to the Note 8 ones, a device which has been released recently anyways. Here are some prerequisites you'll need in order to follow this tutorial. Tutorial. You'll definitely need TWRP and root. If you don't know what TWRP is or how to install it, check the video in the card section. Now that's pretty much what you'll need. In uh, this video I will show you a side by side comparison between the S8 stock apps and the Note 8 ones so that you'll see if there are any major visual differences between them. I will be installing this mod over Renovate Ice 5.0. If you want to know more about Renovate Ice Custom ROM, check out my latest video in the card section. Let's get into the installation tutorial. Boot into TWRP, I highly recommend you to make a Android backup. Click backup, check all the boxes and swipe to backup. If something goes wrong with the installation procedure, then you can restore your current configuration and boot up the device like nothing happened. After you made the backup, go into advanced, file manager, browse into the system folder, then app and find the calculator and internet folder which you will have to delete. This may not be such a mandatory step but it's better to stick to what the dev said. Then finally you can safely install the mod. Go to install and select the Note 8 apps zip. At the end you'll have to reboot your device. Now let's check out the side by side comparison between the S8 and Note 8 apps. I will test these with the black theme applied over it. I realized that it was kind of a bad idea because colors may differ within these two but when I realized that everything was already filmed and it was hard to start over. Anyways, if you're interested in how I theme my S8 like that, check the video in the card section again. I will play some uh, nice chill music in the background and let you enjoy the comparison. A new huge feature comes into the edge screen where you can see more advanced options like the ability to set up your own color and also it seems to me that the pattern of the light is a little bit different from what I had with the S8 edge screen. So that was the review for today, I hope you like it, if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe around my channel, until next time as always take care, Wicked is out, bye bye.